Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. If you're new, my name is Mari Milana, and today we're gonna be doing story time. Story time. Okay, I'm gonna put a little twist on the story time today. So I have a bunch of different stories written on sticky notes in this bag right here. I decided to just pick one out, and that's what story time we're gonna do today. Okay. Okay. Let's mix these all together. Today I'm on my tomboy-ish. I got my cute little Cobra Kai shirt on and my little hat. And let's see what do we got. Let's see. Halloween night disaster. <laughs> okay. So boom. Whew, I, I'm gonna have to come up with these names off the top of my head, off rip. So my friend, we're gonna call her Let's call her Bailey. Let's call her Bailey. So my friend's name is Bailey. Her boyfriend's name is just gonna be Wendell. So Bailey and Wendell are a couple. They're together, right? Okay. My other friend, his name is gonna be Andy. So we have Wendell, Bailey, Andy. You know, Halloween's coming up. It's coming, this happened in 2021 so this was you know just a couple months ago well not not a couple months but y'all get what i'm trying to say it was last year we we were making plans you know like what's the move like is there is there any halloween parties coming up blase blase in my town there's like a little group of guys that i guess you could say are like like party hosts that are always hosting or like posting about these different parties they're having um at the college in my town right so they were like oh it's gonna be be this mansion halloween party and pretty much whoever has the best outfit is gonna win like a hundred dollars or something like that right but it was supposed to be this huge party like everybody's going everyone's gonna shot everyone's gonna pop out right so me and my friend bailey decided to be matching cowgirls okay but like sexy cowgirls which i will insert the picture here so you guys can see what our outfits look like because we were looking delicious we were looking like snacks so <laughs> we decide that we're going with our friend like our other friend which i'm just gonna name him yellow yellow was supposed to come with us but he wasn't going he he didn't end up like going with us so he's not relevant to the story but me Andy, Bailey, we all were planning to go, right? So I cashed up Bailey. No, no, I cashed up Andy some money to buy a bottle and everything ahead of time because Andy is already over the age of 21. So I gave him money to buy a bottle of Ciroc, right? Cool. So I get to, um, you know, the day comes that we're supposed to be getting ready for this party or whatever. I call Bailey. I'm like, hey, I'm about to start heading to your house. She was like, okay, bet. Um, now, Bailey and Wendell live together. So he and like Wendell was already home. She wasn't. Bailey was at her mom's house. So she was on her way home. So she was like, hey, so I'm not home, but I'm on my way back. And I think you're probably going to make it there before me. So Wendell just opened the door for you. So Wendell opens the door for me. Cool. I get in there. Me and Wendell, this is me and Wendell's like, second time i would say officially meeting like our only second time like wendell has heard about me he knows of me but we have not hung out a lot if that makes sense i come i go in the bathroom i start getting ready right okay cool bailey finally gets back to the apartment right so me and bailey start getting ready together i had no idea because i didn't i literally didn't find out until the day of really until i walked up into bailey and wendell's apartment that Wendell is coming with us and his friend is also coming with us as well to give Wendell's friend name Perry we're just gonna like I, these are the most random names but yes okay so it's 
me, Bailey, Wendell, and Perry, right? So I'm talking to Wendell while I'm getting ready and we're waiting on Ray. Like, you know, we're just having a little small talk and we're in the kitchen. And so he's like, he gets a call. And he's like, hold on, I'll be right back. Like, I had to go get my friend. So I'm like, friend? Like, you know, I didn't even know Perry was coming. I didn't even know who Perry was. I've never met Perry before until now. So he goes downstairs, he comes back up with his friend Perry, I say hey, you know, I introduce myself, and I finish getting ready. Well, Bailey was a little bit behind because like I said, I got to the apartment before her, so I got a head start on getting ready. So by the time she came, I was already halfway done with my makeup. So she's getting ready. Now Bailey doesn't really wear makeup like that. She just really like will like do her hair and stuff. So the only things that she really had to do was lashes and all that. But I think she was like gonna take a shower. I had already taken a shower before I left my house. So I was good on that. I just need to do my hair and my makeup and all that stuff, right? So Bailey hops in the shower. She does all her, you know, stuff. Now the whole time we're getting ready, Wendell and Perry are just hanging out in the living room and we're in the bathroom getting ready. And Wendell kind of keeps rushing Bailey, like, Bailey, hurry up, like, you know, like, we want to, like, you know, so we can go, you know, you're taking forever, da, da, da. And she's like, I'm, it's okay, like, I'm hurrying, like, I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get ready, all this other stuff, right? Well, we get ready, um, we, like, we start taking pictures, you know, wanted to take the little pictures of our outfits before we left the house. We leave the house we get into Perry's car. So neither Wendell or Bailey took their cars. We took Perry's car. So Perry's the one that's driving. Me and Bailey are in the back seat. Wendell is in the front passenger seat next to Perry. So me and so me and Bailey are just back there giggling, you know, just having a good time. You know, when you're the one that's not driving, you're not the DD. You're just sitting, you're just riding, you're just chilling. Okay, boom, I we put the address in for the mansion party, we're on our way there. I think it was like, I think the mansion party was like 30 minutes away, I'm not even sure. Like, I really don't even remember where it was at. I just know that it was, yeah, it had to been at least like 30 minutes away. So, and mind you, Bailey and Wendell, they don't live in the same city as me. Like, from my city, they live about 15, 20 minutes away from me. We're on our way there. I call my friend Andy. I'm like, hey, we're on our way there. And he's like, bet, we're on our way there too. And he, Andy also has his friend. We're just gonna call him friend. We're not gonna give him a name. So Andy has his friend with him in his car and they're riding, they're meeting us up there, right? So I didn't know this, but Wendell also had some friends that were going to that party as well. So he's on the phone with his friends like, hey, is the party lit? Is it jumping? Like, you know, we're on our way there. I want to say maybe 15 minutes into the ride. I don't even know how long it was because I can't really gauge how long it was. I just know we had been driving and we were like halfway to the party, right? Wendell gets a call and his friend is like, Hey, turn, turn back around. Like, don't go to the party. Like, um, the cops pulled up. They're already shutting it down. It's only been 30 minutes. Bruh. The party had only been going for 30 minutes and it, it had already gotten shut down only been going for 30 minutes it already got to shut down so we were kind of hurt because you know we were anticipating to have a good time at this mansion party right and like i said me and bailey were all dressed up so me and bailey then went to we like we decided okay like because here's the thing when i bring up these college people that are like they're always hosting and throwing different parties in my town they also had like two or three different other parties that they were posting, like promoting, right? And so Andy sends me another one. I'm like, okay, let's go to this one, right? Cause Perry is, you know, kind of confused. Like, you know, like what's the plan? Like, where's the next place we're gonna go to since this party got shut down, right? So we go to another one. No one's outside. Really, no one's outside. It, there's no signs of any party or anything like that. None of that going on, nothing. Like it's completely pitch black. There's no music, there's no like cars lined up down the street, nothing. So at this point, we're kind of bummed because now we've tried to go to two parties now and nothing, you know, nothing's popping off and we don't know where else to go. Perry kept giving us suggestions about, hey, I have a party in Dallas, but you guys are not gonna be going home until three or 4 a.m., but you guys can come with me if y'all want. And so Bailey was kind of hesitant, like, no, I can't do that because I have work in the morning. And this was like a Saturday night. 
and she was gonna have work the next morning which was gonna be a Sunday so she was not trying to do all that keep that in mind okay keep keep that in mind we could have went to the party that would where that we wouldn't have been getting home until 3 or 4 a.m but it was gonna be lit right so Perry and Wendell decide okay let's meet up with our friend and we're gonna name that friend Jin so Perry and Wendell decide okay let's meet up with our friend Jin so we meet up with the friend Jin and we get in the car with Jin because Perry is like you know regardless of if y'all are going to this party with me or not I'm going so you, like y'all need to figure out what y'all are gonna do next right so we get in Jin's car we also were waiting on my friend Andy because since we didn't end up going like to those two parties because they like it just ended up being a disaster right I told Andy to meet me at the second party and give me my bottle right because he remember I told you he bought my bottle for me so I meet up with him I'm like hey what's up you know cool dab him up he gives me my bottle cool so Perry drives off right he goes to that party cool we get in the car with Jin and me Bailey and Wendell and Jin decide to go to Jin's apartment so we go to Jin's apartment and me Bailey and Wendell and Jin all decide to play drunk uno so we're drinking me <laughs> um me and Bailey were drunk but Wendell and Jin ended up being the drunkest because like the way we were playing it like the reverse kept going like back to them and when it would reverse that means that they would have to take a double shot like they would have to take a shot again after they had just taken another shot so they got the drunkest so you know we had a fun night with that just chatting mingling telling stories and just like chilling and hanging out and playing uno and drinking right so at this point it's like 1 2 a.m and oh when we left to go to the first party it was like 9 or 10 so hours later it's now like because i think when we went to jen's house it was 12 and we ended up leaving at like one or two we took an uber because remember both bailey and wendell did not bring their car keys no, they, because they weren't going to be driving we get we take the uber there it feels like the uber was low-key like we were in there forever but i think it was just because we were intoxicated that it just felt like it was longer than it was um so we get to the apartment and we're on the elevator going up because they do live upstairs on the elevator going up you know me perry no i'm sorry not perry me wendell and bailey are just laughing and like mind you i was also going to spend the night with perry and wendell just because it would have been easier and like you know after a night of drinking like just to stay at their house so we're just like man we can't wait to get in the bed like we're gonna have the best sleep we're ready to lay down like we're drunk we're tired you know when you're drunk and tired the best feeling in the world is to lay down in that bed so we were excited keep that in mind <laughs> we left Jen's about two something a.m when we made it back to the apartment it was 3 a.m at this point so we get out the elevator and so uh we go to open the door and so wendell's looking at bailey like do you have the key and she's looking at him like no i i don't have the key i thought you had it and he's looking at her like he he dead ass thought she was playing so he kind of like smiled a little bit, but he was also like a look of terror, like. What you mean you don't have a key? Now, remember when I told you that Wendell was rushing Bailey? She might have thought about bringing the key had he not rushed her, but that was neither here or there. We trying to figure out how the fuck we gonna get in this apartment. It's three fucking a.m. in the morning. We're drunk. Oh, mind you, it's October, so it's cold. And me and Bailey are half butt ass naked in these fishnets, shorts, and this tiny leather top. It's cold as fuck. We're drunk. We're locked out of this apartment, right? Ain't nobody got the damn key, okay? <laughs> and not to mention, no, no car key. So it's not like just sleep in the car or we can just drive to. No. Ain't nobody got no sets keys, okay? I also wanted to mention that we didn't have our wallets. All we had was cash. We didn't have anything. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> like oh and mind you 
the only clothes we had was the clothes on our backs because everything is locked inside the apartment, okay? <laughs> so, oh my gosh, so then, you know, we're panicking, we're like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? Like, we're tired, it's cold, we ain't got nothing. So, we ended up calling another Uber, another Lyft, to go to Bailey's mom's house because Bailey's mom, she lives in like the next city over. I think she was like 20 minutes away too. So <laughs> we take an Uber to Bailey's mom's house. Bailey's mom lets us spend the night there for the night. We get in the house, right? And so Bailey's mom has, like she takes care of foster, like she, um, she has foster kids. Um, but she also has like, you know, Bailey's brother and all that stuff, right? So, and sometimes Bailey's brother's friends would spend the night over there too. So, Bailey and Wendell were going to sleep in one of like the bedrooms. I think it was like the master bedrooms. One of the bedrooms, because this bed, this house is like a five bedroom house. I think Bailey and her boyfriend, Wendell, were going to sleep in one of the bedrooms, right? So, Bailey went to go, Bailey went, mm, Bailey went downstairs to go talk to her mom for a little bit. So me and Wendell start heading upstairs to go to where we're gonna sleep, right? So I'm behind him. He opens up the door, y'all. There's just this guy just laying spread out on his bed, like just full spread out like starfish. Like. Wendell instantly gets mad because he's like, there's this big ass nigga sitting in, like laying down in my bed. There's this big ass nigga in my bed, like. And I'm trying to lay down. I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> so that shit was hilarious. We did end up getting that situation taken care of. Wendell and Bailey ended up sleeping there. I ended up sleeping, you know, in another room. We went to sleep. We woke up. Oh, and another thing that I forgot to tell y'all. So the office to get an extra key, like their apartment office, get an extra key so that we could actually get in the apartment and get our stuff didn't open till 12. <laughs> it didn't open till 12. Bailey needed to be at work the next morning. Bailey needed to be at work in the morning by 7.30. And she don't got her car keys, nothing. So it's like, so she ended up having to go into work late. And when we got into the apartment office, you know, they gave them a spare key to open up their apartment. They get in the apartment and all that stuff. So. It was just so funny because we didn't end up going to that party because of Bailey having to go to work in the morning, but she ended up having to go to work late anyways because of the situation that we had no idea was going to unfold. We had no idea it was going to unfold. We had no idea that nobody had the key. <laughs> and yeah, so after that, I told Perry about the whole situation. He was dying laughing because he was just like, y'all should have just came with me. I wanted y'all to come with me to the party in Dallas that was uh, gonna be until three or four in the morning. And I was like, yeah, I know, we definitely should have came with you because the situation that happened, you know. Yeah, so that's it for this story time i hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to like comment and subscribe i cannot say that enough do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos if you want to see more of me don't forget to hit the bell so you know every time i post and until next time bye